All right, Ricky. We have a new season, and without you have a new team, just finishing up the OTAs. It's the first time you really had a chance to fit in with your new teammates. How'd you fit? Oh, it fit beautiful. It was a lot of love out there, just like a glove. A lot of love. A lot of love. But, uh, Jay, excuse me, if you don't mind, I got a couple things that I need to get off my chest really fast. Floor is all yours. Cool, thank you. Um, first off, I need to sincerely apologize for the brief encounter that the relationship that Miss Cooley and I had affecting my organization, uh, Mr. Ross, the fans, and most importantly, Alonzo. Um, you know, I had no idea that they were even in... Yeah, yeah, I'm going to stop you right there. You have been in the league long enough to know that there are only a few things that are truly taboo, and that one right there tops the list. Yeah, well, listen, trust me, I, I love my moms, and if I had ever known and I've been in that position like Alonzo, I too would have a huge problem with it. And, you know, to Alonzo's credit, he was able to step up. So Alonzo had to step up. Yeah, sure, he came to me, we talked it out like men, and we were able to handle it like adults. You know? Uh-huh, how are you guys now? Oh, we are great, like brothers in arms. You tried to buy Alonzo's number, the number 18 from him, why? Uh, it was a number that I wore in high school, I wore it in college. Yeah, so. nobody offers someone 40000 just for a number you wore in high school and college. What is the story? There's really no story to it. I just wanted the number. That's more than most people in this country make in a year. So, what does it mean to you? You want to cut to the chase, Jen? It's the only reason why I'm here. Well, let's cut to the chase, then. It's not about the number 18. It's about the number 81. 81. How, how are we talking... 81. My father played ball in the NFL. He did for about nine years. He wore the number 81. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. All this time you've played, that we have covered you, this is the first time we are ever hearing that your dad played? He left my mom before I was born. Doesn't make me no special case, though. I mean, a ton of the guys I grew up with had single family homes. And, you know, I used to want to be like my father. I used to watch him on NFL Sundays every week. I used to want to emulate his style. I used to want to be like him until I figured out what he was and what he did, and then I just got angry. You ever tried to reach out to him? Did I? Many a times. Not once did he answer a phone call, a voicemail, an email, nothing. He chose not to know me after I won a state championship, chose not to know me after I won a national championship, he chose not to know me after I got drafted. After all of that, he chose not to know me. So. I decided to take the number 81 and flip the script. I decided to wear the number 18, and I told myself a long time ago that I would never take the field wearing a number that said anything but fuck you, dad, on the front and on the back. We are nothing alike.